no students welcome to this class in this class i'll be discussing multiple choice questions on the chapter chemical equilibrium so let's consider the questions one by one Each of the following characteristics is applicable to the systems at equilibrium. Equilibrium stands for a stable and static condition. A no measurable property of the system remains constant. No measurable properties given. The equilibrium expression involving the concentration of the reacting substances has nothing to do with temperature. The magnitude of the value, the concentration related expression is an indication to what extent the reaction proceeds before reaching the equilibrium. See, if you look at the statements one by one, equilibrium is a dynamic condition. It is not static, given as static here, but actually it is dynamic. Therefore, the rule of the first statement. All measurable properties remain constant, like pressure, volume, temperature. They remain constant during the equilibrium. Therefore, second statement is also wrong. Equilibrium expression involves the concentration of the reactant, that is the equilibrium expression K, where K is the active mass of the products divided by active mass of the reactants. It changes with the temperature because as the temperature changes, the rate of forward or backward reaction also changes. So, K varies with temperature. Therefore, you can say the third statement is also wrong. The magnitude of the value, see Q, it is same as the expression of K. It is concentration of the products divided by concentration of the reactants. By knowing this, you can predict to what extent the reaction has taken place or whether the reaction is proceeding in the forward direction or in the backward direction. See, the statement 4 is correct, actually. Therefore, A, B, C are wrong. So the following characteristics is applicable, means it is the fourth one. So the ratio of this concentration of the products to the concentration of the reactants will tell you in which direction the reaction is proceeding. Therefore, answer is D. For the following reaction, A solid. You can see here it is A solid, B is a gas, C is a liquid, D is a gas. A, C is one. So for this experiment, Expression equation, how we are going to write the expression of K. Now to consider only the solutions and gases. Therefore, we have to consider only B and D. Concentration of A or active mass A is taken as one, it almost remains constant. And concentration of C, it is a pure liquid, it is also taken one. So for pure solids and liquids, active mass is taken as one. And also it is given that T equals 1. So if this is 1, then you can easily say concentration of B is equal to concentration of D. Or partial pressure, if there are gases, you can say partial pressure of B is equal to partial pressure of D. So B is the correct answer. So B is the answer. You can rule out a because A, B, C, they all of the substances do not appear in the rate the, in the equilibrium law. At certain temperature, the value of equilibrium constant for a reaction is so that is formation of nitric oxide is given is given as hundred. So what is the value of equilibrium constant for the reaction? So it is reversed and also coefficient have changed. We have to remember two things. When K 
dash for the reverse reaction is equal to k for the forward reaction. So if the equation is reversed, it becomes the reciprocal if the equation is reversed. And if the equation is multiplied by some number, then k dash will be equal to k to the power of n. So where n is the multiplicand. So we have it is a number that we have used to multiply, or it is a coefficient that with which you have multiplied. If I mean I don't apply more if to reverse the equation so for the k dash for 2NO2 coming N2 plus O2. So I will be reversing the equation now N2 plus O2. Then that will be 1 over 100 or 10 to the power of minus 2. So reciprocal of 100 we have to take. And now it is again multiplied by 2. So k dash now will be equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 to the power of half. Because so it is multiplied by half. So that you are going to get the equation NO2, 1 mole of NO2, giving half N2 and O2. Therefore, so 10 to the power of minus 2 to the power of half means it is 10 to the power of minus 1. 10 to the power of minus means 0.1. So the answer will be D. So this is the answer. So D is the answer for this. Question go to the next question. A plus B gives C plus D. Equilibrium 1 mole of A, 2 mole of B, 6 mole of C, 20 mole of B are present in 1 liter vessel. See, concentration of any substance is given by its number of moles divided by volume. But if the volume is given as 1 liter, then there is no problem directly, you can take the number of moles. So, K will be concentration of C, concentration of D, this type of simple problems may be given, concentration of A and concentration of B. So you remember you have to write products in the numerator and reactants in the denominator in which there are any coefficients, you have to write the coefficients also, C, D, like coefficients also you have to write. So you have to write the coefficient also, but all coefficients are equal to one in this example. So it will be a simple problem. Now it's substitute six times 20 divided by one into two. So how much it comes to is 20 times six and one two. So it means it will be 60. So answer for this question will be six. If you reverse the expression, then I will the numerator, dynamic interchange model, the answer are. Or answer for this question is A. In which of the following increase in temperature will shift the equilibrium towards the right side? So it is the Lee Chatelier's principle or Lay Shortly A principle we have to apply. Yeah, according to this principle, if you supply heat to a system under equilibrium, then exothermic rate of the exothermic reaction increases or equilibrium shifts in that direction in which heat will be utilized. And if you are removing the heat from the system, that means if you try to cool an equilibrium, then equilibrium shift in exothermic direction. Now we are trying to increase the temperature, means you are heating, therefore heat must be consumed. So heat consuming process or endothermic process becomes dominant or it will shift in that direction. See, this is first option is exothermic, so it will not happen. So second reaction is exothermic, there also right direction will overlap. And the third option is goes in the endothermic process, goes endothermic. So here the equilibrium shifts towards right direction. Heat will be consumed. Again, fourth one is exothermic. 
So A, B, C will shift towards the right direction if you try, try to cool the system. But if it is a C, it is a only one, which is endothermic. You can see here it is endothermic, and that will be the answer for this question. What happens if chlorine is added to this equilibrium? See, chlorine is the product here, and heat is also there. So I'll rewrite this heat plus SO2, Cl2, sulfuryl chloride. So that is in equilibrium with SO2 and Cl2. Now, if chlorine is added, you are going to add the product. So addition of the product shift the equilibrium towards backwards or towards the reactant side. Therefore, more and more sulfuryl chloride will be produced, and also heat will also be produced. So reverse reaction is exothermic also. So heat will be generated. So temperature of the system increases. That is correct statement. You shift the equilibrium to the left. Equilibrium. Uh, statement B that is also correct. Addition of chlorine speeds up the formation of SO2Cl2 that is also correct. Therefore, all these three statements are correct. Hence, B is the answer. So, all these statements are correct. So, this question is also once again based upon Leish Hotelier principle. So, it is based upon that. So, how the system tries to nullify the effect of the constraint like the change in concentration or change in temperature is applied. Three moles of H2 and three moles of I2 are introduced. In a one liter watts, the concentration will be once again, one liter, one N over V, we can neglect the volume at 490 degrees centigrade. What will be the expression for K? Okay. See here H2 plus I2 is 2HI. Initially, 3 moles of this, 3 moles of iodine, and 0. X mole of this reacts with X mole of iodine to be 2X mole of HI. So at equilibrium, so what you have is 3 minus x, 3 minus x, and 3 minus of 2x, okay, 2x of the product. Now k will be concentration of hi squared, so there is coefficient 2 here, divided by concentration of h2, and concentration of height. And we'll substitute the values 2x squared divided by 3 minus x of h2 and 3 minus x of i2. Therefore, answer will be d, 3 minus x4 squared, 2x squared. So that will be the answer. So this is equilibrium expression in terms of extent of the reaction. So degree of the reaction, x or x may be called as yield of HI. So on the basis of the yield of HI, how you are going to express equilibrium constants. When three moles of A and one mole of B are mixed in one liter vessel and placed in a vessel and following reaction takes place, an equilibrium mixture contains 0.50 moles of C. Okay, now we have to calculate the value of K. So this is based upon the previous question where there was degree of the reaction. Now I'll write what is given. A plus B gives C. Initially, 3 mole, 1 mole, and this is 0. So X moles of A reacts with X moles of B, then you are going to get this is 2C. 2C, it will be 2X moles of C. And at equilibrium, what you have is 3 minus x, 1 minus x, and this will be 2x. Now, value of 2x is given. That's what you have to understand. 2x is equal to 
x is equal to 0 0.5. Therefore, x is equal to 0 0.25. Now, k expression for k will be concentration of c square divided by concentration of a and concentration of b. Now, you substitute this 0 0.25 square means 0 0.25. Divided by three minus x means two point seven five. So it is two point seven five. And then one minus x means it will be zero point seven five. So it is zero point seven five. So it will be 0 0.75. Now you can remove the decimal points that becomes easier to solve 25 times 25 divided by 275 and divided by 75. So this will be three times and this will be 11 times. Correct. Okay, it will be like this. So you can take 57 and 60. Approximate mod commodity 57 and 60 and tower value. Easy other test all one of So 5 divided by 60 into 3. Now you can see, you can cancel. So it will be 1 over 36. So 1 over 36 means it comes to, so how much? 0 0.09. Okay. Zero point zero three, which will calculate three six eighteen Is equals to two zero point two four. So the value comes very close to two, it seems. That will be the answer. Zero point two four is the answer. I'm sorry, we should substitute here zero point five. It is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, not 2, 5. 2 is 0 0.5. So this will be, uh, we calculate. So it will be 50 times 50 divided by 275 and 75. Now it will be. And then this will be 57 and 5, 10, then this will be 15. So this can be taken as 60, take the numerator as 60. Now it will be 11, which will be calculated. Hundred by so it will be hundred or it is two by two is up by three is cancel it out then two times thirty here 
so it will be 10 divided by 90. 10 divided by 90 is 1 by 9. So 1 by 9 is really 0 0.09. So it comes to 0 0.09 before that will be the answer. Not the A, C is the answer. 0 0.09 is the answer. So how do you take 2C as concentration of C as 0 0.25? not as half of it. So the answer will be C, not A. At 90 degrees centigrade, the equilibrium is established and the value of equilibrium constant is given. Initially, there was 0 0.20 mole of hydrogen, 1 mole of sulfur, anyway it is solid. Heated at 90 degrees centigrade, 1 liter is in what is the concentration of H2S at equilibrium. So K is equal to concentration of H2S divided by concentration of H2. So sulfur does not come into picture in this. Now, now to take it as equation and write the equation H2 plus sulfur gives H2. S one X one mole zero point two zero moles X moles react with X mole to be X mole of X two is so one minus X is the concentration of X two X is the concentration of X two so X divided by one minus X is equal to K. That is 6.8 into 10 to the power of minus 2. So x will be equal to 0 0.068 multiplied by 1 minus x. So it is 0 0.068. Minus 0 0.068x. Now shift 0 0.068 to this side that will x plus 1.068 is equal to 0 0.068. Hence x will be equal to 0. 0 0.068 divided by 1.068. So it is some algebra that is involved. So this will be almost like 68 divided by 1068. 1068 per kumbhaya salmon kastar effect, take it as 1000. So 68 divided by 1000 means it will be. 68 in 10 to the power of minus 3. This is very much close to 6.8 into 10 to the power of minus 2. Now, approximate mark for 1068 is 1000 and the mark for the So, that value is very close to this. And the 6.3 is the exact gap for the ladder now approximation. Therefore, this will be the answer. The given temperature equilibrium constant for a reaction is given below. So decomposition of PCL5, PCL3, and Cl2. Fourth is the equilibrium constant if the reaction is reversed. So I told you in the previous term k dash will be 1 over k if the equation is reversed. So it will be 1 over 2.4 to 10 to the power of minus 3. So take 10 to the power of minus 3 to the numerator, it becomes 10 to the power of 3 or 1000 divided by 2.4 divided by 2.4. It will be 4.2 into 10 to the power of 2.4. 
to so let me calculate how much it comes to thousand divided by 2.4 so we have 4.2 into power of 2 therefore the answer will be d so d is the answer You know, you know, 2.5 on the approximation marker will be the answer set. In each of the following reactions, Kb is greater than Kc. Okay, this is based upon the relationship between Kb and Kc. Kb equals Kc into Rt. Whole rise to power delta ng, where delta ng, as in the case of thermodynamics, number of moles of gaseous products minus number of moles of gaseous reactants. So in the first case, it is 2 minus 1. This will be a positive value for the first reaction is 2 minus 1 therefore delta n c will be a positive value and hence kb will be greater than 0 in the second case delta n g is 0 therefore kp will be equal to kc in the third one delta n g is negative you can see here it will be 2 minus 3 means minus 1 so kp will be less than kc it will be a fraction of kc because it is a fraction of kc it will be less than kc so here kp will be less than kc Again, in case of PCL3 formation, which is PCL5 formation also, Kp will be less than Kc because delta Ng will be negative. So there is only one reaction that is the first one where Kp is greater than Kc. So that will be the answer. A constant temperature for which of the following systems doubling the volume will cause a shift in the equilibrium towards right. See, when you increase the volume, pressure is inversely proportional to B. So, if you are increasing the volume, the pressure is going to decrease. That means you are decreasing the pressure by increasing the volume of the container then the equilibrium will shift in that direction in which the number of moles will increase. So the system will try to nullify the effect by increasing the number of molecules. In the number of molecules, so here right side go up. In this direction also number of molecules is decreasing. Here there is no change in number of molecules, delta Ng equals zero. Then there will be no effect of pressure there has no effect on equilibrium if there is no change in number of moles of gaseous products and gaseous reactants. But in the last one, one mole of gaseous reactant is becoming one plus one totally two moles. Therefore, in the forward direction, there is increase in number of molecules. So if you try to decrease the pressure by doubling the volume, then in the case D, forward reaction will take place or equilibrium shift to the right. Therefore, the answer for this question will be D. So if the reaction PCL5, PCL3 and Cl2, if alpha is the degree of dissociation, so number of molecules at equilibrium, okay, this is part of the equilibrium constant derivation PCL5 is the equilibrium PCL3 
and CL2. Now, this initially here it is 1, 0, 0. Alpha moles will decompose to the alpha moles of the products. Therefore, this will be 1 minus alpha and alpha. So, if you take the total number of molecules or moles at equilibrium, it will be 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha. 1 alpha is subtracted, therefore, it will be 1 plus alpha. Number of molecules just the accurate in it will be greater than 1, which will be 1 plus alpha, and that will be the answer. In the ester hydrolysis, the carboxylic acid and ethanol, the equilibrium constant Kc is 1 by 4. So, 1 mole of ester and 1 mole of water. So, water is not in excess, not neglect the quantity of water here. So, it is 1 mole of water mixed to low to come to equilibrium, number of moles of ethanoic acid will be how much. So, of equilibrium constant is also mentioned there. So, you begin with 1 mole of this, 1 mole of this, and 0, and 0. And at equilibrium, there will be 1 minus x moles of this, 1 minus x moles of this, and the x moles of this, and the x moles of this. Then, expression for Kc will be x into x divided by 1 minus x into 1 minus x is according to the law of mass action. So it will be x square divided by 1 minus x square. That will be 1 by 4. Now you cross multiply, you are going to get 4 into 1 minus x square, it's whole square, 1, 4 x square. So this will be like a quadratic equation. 1 minus x whole square is 1 plus x square minus 2x is equal to 4x square. Now, this will be you have to rearrange. If you rearrange, I will get 4x square minus x square plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So, we will directly shift modic. That will, that will be 3x square plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So it will be a quadratic equation. So you have to find the solutions for this equation. So if you want to apply the quadratic equation or you may do some rearrange 3x square plus 3x minus x minus 1 equals 0. So, if you take out the common here, the x, it will be x plus 1, 3 into x plus 1, minus 1, now 1 of the power, it will be again x plus 1, plus 0. Therefore, 3x minus 1 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. Therefore, 3x is equal to 1, or x is 1 over 3. Here, x will be equal to minus 1, negative value over it, and now neglect model, extent of the reaction. Therefore, x, degree of the reaction should be 1 over 3. So, 1 by 3 L over it, and now answer, now choose my favorite. Therefore, B will be the answer. CP is the answer for this question. Or you may apply quadratic equation formula. You are then the curve use model x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. 
again you will get the two answers so x will be 1 over 3 or x will be minus 1 in order to choose the positive answer degree of the reaction be 1 over 3 So here completes the chemical equilibrium part. So we shall continue with the ionic equilibrium in our next class. Thank you.